letter L, B, or D, or B. Ugh. <gasps> it's me. By the way, how many Euro leaders are in a 12-cup coffee pot? I'll have to get back to you on that one. Right now, I'm a little busy Euro photocopying. <laughs> Is it me, or are these missions Jerry has us working on incredibly lame? Totally. I thought when he brought us to Euro Whoop for his R&R trip, we'd be doing new things, not cooped up in some dingy office. Oh, if only Jer was here so we could complain. Hey, maybe he can be. After all, think about where we are. <gasps> You're so right, Sammy. We can whoop him. <laughs> I'm sure one of these buttons will do the trick. <sighs> <sighs> Fight, no splashing, no pushing, no blowing. Now, good luck and may the best captain win. Ready, set, launch! What in the world? I'm like, pronto! After what's just occurred, I quite agree that you could use a little downtime. <laughs> Indeed. But before I let you go, I have a little something for you. Don't bother, Jer. We won't need any gadgets while we're off sightseeing. I don't know about you girls, but I have got a serious roam, Jones. Oh, I'm not giving you any spy gear, Samantha. <gasps> you mean you're giving us a totally sweet Euro ride? Or something like that. <gasps> Little something, you meant little something. But how are we supposed to fit in there, Jer? I mean, this is woo, not clown college. Though the micro appears small, it's actually quite roomy on the inside. Plus, its compact design makes parking a snap. Cheerio! <laughs> We should be there right about now. Huh. Mm. Mm. Alex, that isn't Rome, it's a smear of chocolate. Oops, must have dripped out of my afternoon Euro pastry. Well, what are we gonna do now? We're totally lost. No worries, we can just go to that huh? cute little village and ask for directions. Why do cute villages always have to have cobblestone? Jer wasn't kidding when he said parking would be a snap. Wow, girls! This place is big time beauteous! Apparently, we're the only ones who think so, as in freaky Italian ghost town much. Maybe everyone's on summer holiday. Good point, Alex. <laughs> Except for the part where it's March. Um... Besides, that doesn't explain why all the store's doors are wide open and everyone's cars are still here. In that case, our sightseeing trip just turned into a spy. <laughs> For the eerie silence, I'm not catching anything too unusual. Ah! Alex? Alex? Where'd you go? Down here! <gasps> no! I'm fine. Just stumbled into a crater filled with some kind of weird red goo. A goo that smells like marinara sauce. <gasps> what was that? I'm not sure, but I don't think we should stick around to find out. <laughs> You 
your baguette bags are to die for. Uh, Earth the clover. Now is not the time for shopping. Or haven't you noticed that it's raining calzone bombs? As in mega-sized baked turnovers or pizza dough filled with veggies, cheese, and sauce? Yeah, the same sauce I fell into earlier. <gasps> She's right. And boy, do they pack a punch. And there goes a giant flying pizza. <gasps> Both of our pizza shops, huh? I agree, brother. Which is why it would be a good time for you to leave. You eat pizza burgers? Okay, it's official. Your eyes is way wacky. At least now we know it's not us who's being targeted. Taken out by takeout. I've got an idea. Quick, grab as many belts as you can carry. I don't know, Sam. Over accessorizing is a major fashion offense, even on spy missions. Just trust me and follow me up to the roof. Time to stop complaining and start improvising. Uh, I don't follow. Don't you see? I'm making my very own batty nabbing bungee belt. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> awesome idea, Sammy! <laughs> now let her rip, Al! You got it! <laughs> well, take it out, you second rate hack! Calling a second red, you know good has a pain. What's happening? What's happening is you're totally busted. Okay, boys, start talking. Yeah, as the victim of an unwanted saucing, I demand to know exactly what you're fighting about. It's simple. Me, Giuliano, with my signature calzone, am the best pizza maker in the town. Please, it's me, Giuseppe, and my exquisite pepperoni pizza, who's a number one. So let me get this straight. You're willing to destroy an entire town and each other just to prove who's the better pizza chef? Yes! Hello? Overly dramatic much? <laughs> Look, all we've got to do is a little taste test, and we can end this feud once and for all. Hey, that's a great plan, Clover. Yeah, bring on the grub. Choice of flavors. Huh. And the mine? Wow! Amazing blend of textures. Uh, so, who's the winner? It's a tie! You're both way talented cooks. Huh? Which is why you should give up the silly argument and go into business together. You think so? Really? Totally. Okay, see, si, I'll do it. Me too. Good. Now shake on it. Now, if you can promise to behave yourselves and stop fighting, we'll let you leave. Deal! Arrivederci! I don't know about you guys, but after all this feud settling, I'm completely wiped. Me too. What do you say we resume our Rome trip in the AM? Fine, but with all the hotel owners out of town, it looks like we're going to have to sleep in the micro. Ah! Nuts! There's no way I'm sleeping in that shoebox. Sorry, Clover. We don't have much of a choice. Fine, but I'm warning you, hatchbacks are so non-beauty sleep conducive. Not only will we 
join the forces, but we'll become the greatest pizza duo in all of Italy by any means unnecessary. <laughs> you ladies to check out ASAP. What kind of abductions? It appears that the best pizza makers in Italy have been reported missing throughout the country. <gasps> pizza makers? I wonder if Giuseppe and Giuliano are in danger. Giuseppe and who, Liano? Giuliano, as in the feuding pizza maker brothers we met last night? That I don't know, but I do know where each of the crimes occurred. Mm. Milan, Venice, and Florence. Hey, Alex, cue up the micro's nav system, would you? It's just like I thought. The abductors are making their way south toward Rome. Then that's exactly where you need to go. Well, what are you waiting for? Slap some gadgets on us. Very well, then. Today, we have the laser lipstick, the helping hand extender glove, and the cool breeze high velocity propeller beanie. Good luck, spies. Forget it, Chair. There's no way this puny micro is going to cut it on a major spy mission. Oh, really? Try pressing the horn. Huh? yourselves chefs. Well, you're no match for our triple toast titanium infused secret formula dough. Now hurry along. Oh. The sooner we get rid of you, the sooner the world will only have our delicious cooking to enjoy. Okay, if your plan was to take the restaurant world by storm, hmm, you're gonna need some serious schooling on your people skills. Huh? <laughs> We've got our people skills covered, miss. See, as in, we're skillfully rounding up all of the people who are our competition, huh? Literally. 
Normally, I wouldn't get caught dead wearing something like this. Desperate times call for desperate accessories. Clover. Still, it's not gonna last forever. We need to figure out how to get out of here. I vote we go up. Punchy time! time. Huh? You're gonna need this more than I will. Phew! <laughs> now I know what an apple feels like stuck inside a pie. What have you done to our beautiful culinary creation? <laughs> we got company, spies. <laughs> Mamma mia, look what those girls have done to my beautiful cars! <laughs> I vote we go down. <laughs> We've got enough dough to have gadgets too! Try to keep them occupied. I have to get those chefs out of there before it's too late. Weaponry like that. Clover, oh, shut down that pizza flinging catapult! Why can't you just deliver pizza in a car like normal people? Let me down before I get spinning spine sickness! <laughs> business. Oh, <laughs> 